Thank you so much for uh, telling me about your journey with Nazea. So where did you start? I found Shaila Sophia through her wonderful, magical Facebook group, The Rats Rat Cafe, about 17, 18 months ago. And after four days being just in that wonderful space and scrolling and scrolling through the amazing art shared there, not only by her, but by her students. Oh my gosh, I could not get enough just looking at this amazing art, which, which touched me deeply in my soul because I am an art foodie, I eat art. I'm so delighted by colors and shapes and I could see there is a depth in this kind of art in Shiloh's paintings but also in her students which I've never seen before. I mean I get goosebumps just talking about it and so just four days scrolling through the Facebook group I found a web page with the link to Color of Woman and when I read the description and the promises of helping me to reconnect with my creativity which now makes me choke up because I felt so disconnected from it even though in the eyes of the world I was this creative maniac but people didn't know about my secret dreams so I was just I, I signed up immediately it was a no-brainer when I read the description and what is possible with this intentional creativity because this is the thing everyone is creative yeah we are human beings and being human means being creative but being intentional creative oh my gosh this is, opens up a whole different world because when you combine intentionality with creativity you can create worlds you manifest your dreams and you are not just creative so it was a no-brainer and i never regretted it isn't that amazing i uh <clears throat> i'm amazed that you just signed up for color of women right away and how was that experience I am a risk taker. I'm a courageous woman. So for me, I, I had not even done any of the free classes with Shiloh. So I have not met her before that. I trust my intuition even before I started working with her. because I say that because intentional creativity helps me to get even deeper and more clear access and more confidence into my intuition. And I was always a risk taker and, uh, and courageous woman who trusted her intuition. So I had this strong gut feeling when I saw the images of this beautiful woman and her big smile in front of her paintings. The paintings speak to me. I mean, I'm right now here in Musea and choking up again. There's an energy of, um, of depths of the soul in intentional creativity, which I don't find in most galleries. I mean, I'm coming the last, yesterday I drove through Napa Valley. I uh, strolled with my husband and two boys through six, seven galleries. And there were lots of big paintings, $20,000 here, $35,000 there. And I looked at them and from the seven galleries, there were maybe one or two paintings which spoke to me and the rest were just decorative. And that's the thing with the art market. There is so much decorative art with uh, f f um, colors or patterns which are on vogue and on trend, which is fine. Yeah, It's fine if you want to spend $30,000 on some decorative piece of art. I'm looking for something else. I'm looking for art which expresses the soul, the human soul, which speaks to my human soul and which has some empowering aspects which helps me to express my soul's language, my soul's dreams and my soul's images. And that kind of art is, is a completely different category. I totally I'm agree. Doing. So we've got a ton of people coming in. So very quickly, why should somebody sign up for Color of Women? Tell me about your, your what, what did you got out of it. So for the first thing I want to say is you don't need to have any talent. You don't need to be artsy. You don't even need to love painting because the painting, the canvas, the, the brush, the colors are a vehicle, are a tool for your own self-development, for your own evolution, for you gaining access to your own soul, to your own language, to your own intuition. And you do it by creating paintings. And if they turn out that you love them, wonderful and yet this is not what the course is about so far i have not met any of the dozens and dozens of students i spoke with who didn't fall in love with their paintings and yet it's not the core goal it's not a painting class 
this, I say it again, is not another painting class. It's not about technique. It's not about you developing your talent to paint. It's about developing your power to access your soul's whispers, your muse, this invitation to be a creative human being and liberate yourself and your creativity so that you can express yourself free from any kind of societal uh, engagement or corset, especially for us women. You know, all of these corsets which suffocate us and our joy in life. It's if you want to feel liberated, empowered and reconnected with your soul's dreams, then this course, this class is for you. Oh, I love that. Tell me, you had said earlier on that during the class, something happened to you at some point in the in the in the journey. Yes, Do you want to um, share that with yes. me again? Um, it uh, was painting number four called Talisman, which is, which is the archetype of the artist. And I have a business for over 20 years in the corporate arena as a leadership trainer and top executive coach behind me. And working on this specific painting, I had this huge identity shift in me. I became a professional artist in August 2019, uh, 2020 during the pandemic. And I had uh, in fall my first debut show where I exhibited all my paintings from Color of Amazing. Women in Idlewild at Artsy Town in the mountains of Southern California. And the gallerist, she evaluated all the paintings and put the price tags there. And I had uh, six paintings there. Five were from color of a woman. And the sixth one was my um, demonstration painting for my first in-person workshop. And all of them together were evaluated by the gallerist for $28,600. And I'm so proud because for an artist, from the get-go out of the nothingness with no artist academy behind me and 20 years of expertise etc this was a huge huge breakthrough and it would not have been possible without Shyla Sophia without color of women and that specific like in a like a light switch like a like a button turned around and now I'm first an artist before I am any of the other amazing titles I have and certifications etc being now a certified intentional creativity color of woman teacher is my biggest pride.